Okay, hi everybody. This is uh, I'm my warrior playing um, warrior warlock shaman with AJ and a warlock we found in trade chat named Hoodrat with some accents on the O's. Um, he's not too bad, but you know AJ sucks as always. So uh, it always makes games hard because every time we play, it's like AJ's never played a shaman before. So like we lose a whole bunch of games and then he starts playing better, but then we finish playing, so we end up like even. So like it's just terrible. But anyways. Uh, we're playing against a uh, priest warrior rogue here, and uh, this is actually a really, really good comp nowadays because they can just um, burst someone down in a uh, smoke bomb, and they have the uh, the fear of the priest plus the double dispel of the priest, so the priest can actually like guarantee you get frost novas off and stuff like that. Whereas if they had a shaman druid or paladin healer, you have a chance to get the like a chill effect off or something before you get the nova off. So. So arguably, priests are probably the best melee healers for this comp. That's why this comp okay. works so well with the uh, the priest right now. Plus, the, the power of shield makes it so hard to kill people. Switching to the rogue, he's got evasion, he's got combat readiness or whatever. He's got like recuperate taken, and he gets a powered shield and doesn't take any damage because it absorbs like twenty five thousand damage or whatever, and it heals. I get thrown down in a, a uh, smoke bomb. They're pretty much just training my warlock, and AJ's you know freaking out, telling him to port. But then they, they actually switch on to AJ, so that's no good either. Here's uh, one of the um, very, very uh, few moments where AJ doesn't suck. Yeah, he pops the um, Spirit Link totem. That enables, it, that, that enables him to stay alive. Keeps, all, keeps his health up pretty good. I do Imp Hammy here on the, uh, the Warrior. Started doing some damage, but then, you know, he gets a uh, shield wall up, so he stops, pretty much completely stops taking damage. Shield wall plus power shield equals uh, no damage at all whatsoever. Here's AJ's rare moment where he jumps off and <laughs> jumps back up with the uh, rocket jump. That's why freaking goblins are overpowered right there. You can jump off and jump back up and do crap like that. I'm trying to do damage to the warrior here because uh, they're, they were out of sight of their priest for a little bit because they both jumped off. But the priest is pretty much able to keep him alive through uh, using a flash shield penance, power shield, prayer mending. So I switch on to the rogue, try to do some damage to him, but he gets a power shield too, so damage completely stops on him and he cloaks. So now it's... um. Time to actually do a little bit of damage to the priest because the priest is a pretty low and he had dots on him already, so I thought I'd switch into him. I'm pretty sure his uh, desperate prayer is already down, so he can't use that. And uh, I'm able to keep him slowed since he already powered shielded, so he can't just you know walk away or whatever. I use a uh, fear to interrupt his heal, and I actually um, uh, I'm able to charge him after that, so he's stunned and he's still very very low. And there's, there was a tick of a soul drain on him, plus uh, my damage on him, so that's enough to kill him. It's pretty freaking rare to kill the priest on this team because he can usually get peels, but that rogue did not peel. So, big mistake on their part. This is against the same team again here on uh, Nagrand Grina. And you can see here how the uh, 1.5 second charge blows. Actually, it's shorter than 1.5, it's like 1.3 or whatever on uh, or, uh, Orc Warriors here. Because of the sun standard reduction. I fear really early. The rogue yeah, uses right, his will right. to forsaken to break out of it. So I decided to use a um, Why is it some uh, slows and stuff on the rogue because he doesn't have a trinket God, for like 40 seconds. I and I switch into the rogue. He's throw down on him. He can't trink it because it's you know down because of his will to forsaken. But he pretty much ends out you know the same amount of health that he went into the uh, throw down with. But uh, yeah. So that rogue's not really a good kill target, but AJ gets a hex on him, so decent time to switch to the warrior here and try to do some damage to him, but not able to do too much anymore because they, they did nerf Colossus Smash and stuff, and that was kind of the reason you could destroy it. Warriors can destroy each other so fast, now it's like 50% armor reduction instead of 100%. But I switch back to the rogue for a bit here. I charge him, but he vanishes at the same time or whatever, so it doesn't work on him. But he, and he has combat readiness, so he's kind of a crappy target to do damage to. But uh, still, like I'm trying to switch so that the priest has to actually switch healing rather than just healing one person. Fuck near the priest, he actually cancels his heal there because God was gonna pummel him. And he didn't. But now that makes him all aware of my, uh, you know, option to pummel him. So uh, pretty soon here he's actually gonna fake my uh, pummel, and that's always uh, not not a good time. Yeah, here I I try to pummel his penance or whatever, but I don't get it. Big, AJ, big damage on me right now. Now, when the warrior pops One, retaliation, two, I decide to pop it too and just keep hitting him because uh, I want to actually cause some damage to him. Since pummel. he's not hitting me anyway, I'll just get his retaliation hits to proc on back on him anyway fire. through mine. And I won't be taking any extra damage other than that. So that's usually a pretty good idea to do if you want to actually like global somebody. Switching rogue. Just uh, pop retail at the same time they do and do more damage than them. 
seen a lot of people die within like three seconds from that. They're pretty much still um, just trying to kill um, my partners, not really going for me at all whatsoever. Here they're on AJ, and uh, he's you know like half health, but uh, the rogue wasn't on him for a little bit, so he wasn't taking too much damage. I use my uh, rallying cry to give him some health. Plus, he uses spirit link totem that pretty much uh, allows him to you know, heal himself up. Try switching to the priest here because uh, he is pretty low and he's kind of focused on healing his partners. And I think I think the priest is gonna die again here. So I do get gouged and he gets away and stuff and stuff. Sucks like that. The priest is actually able to top himself off ish. Well, he's still staying around half, but yeah, we switch into the rogue here, and um, he doesn't have any more uh, cooldowns really, since he's already been blowing them over and over again. Charge the priest heal here, switch back into the priest, get an interrupt on his penance, and my warlock kills the rogue while I'm killing their uh, priest. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, favorite, and stuff. If you want a chance to win that MX518 mouse, and yeah, see you next time.